assalamu alaikum guys i hope you are all doing well uh, welcome to another lecture uh, last time we uh, generated this calculation on wind load and inshallah today we are going to uh, clarify how to read these tables and then apply them in the sap model in the next lecture inshallah uh, so this lecture is very important especially for the beginners who have zero or little knowledge in wind loading i will try my best to clarify all the things step by step so that you do not face any difficulty in the future so first of all we need to be sure what the sign convention means if the wind pressure value is negative this means if this is the surface then the negative pressure value will mean that the pressure is acting away from the surface okay similarly if the wind pressure value is positive then this will mean the pressure is acting on to the surface so this will always be the case whenever the pressure is negative this means the there is suction on the uh, face but if the pressure is positive this means that the pressure is acting on to the surface and not away from the surface uh, now the general rule is like if you consider this building if the wind direction is this one let us consider it as wind at an angle of 0 degrees okay so this face which is facing the wind pressure is termed as the windward side or the windward face of the building and the face opposite to this side is termed as the leeward side of the building or the leeward face and rest of the two faces this one and this one will be termed as side faces now windward uh, face will always be experiencing positive pressure rest of the wall face the leeward face and the side faces will be experiencing negative pressures but for the roof which is this one it might experience positive or negative pressure it may have both that depends upon the uh, angle of the slope like if the roof is at an angle this will impact the uh, negative and uh, positive pressures on the roof so the roof may experience both the values i hope you have understood this concept now okay now if we look further uh, these images at the end of this report Uh, there are two types of um, wind cases given in this one the first one is when wind is acting at 0 degrees to this building and the second case is when wind is acting 90 degrees to this building so in our sap model uh, we know that the vertical axis is the z axis and axis in this direction is x and axis in this direction is y so when we are talking about 0 degrees wind this means that wind is acting in the y direction in our sap model similarly the 90 degree wind will mean wind in the x direction now i hope that is clear now moving further we discussed earlier that there are four different cases uh, the first case is when the wind is acting at 0 degrees or wind in y direction now this further had two cases the one is with the positive internal pressure coefficient and the second case is with the negative internal pressure coefficient okay this is will be termed as case 1 and case 2 now case 1 further includes tables the first table will be showing pressures on roof the second table will show pressures on wall the third table will show case 2 uh, 
pressures on roof and the fourth table will be showing case 2 pressure on walls similarly when we are considering a wind in the 90 degrees it further has two cases case 3 and case 4 now case 3 is with the positive internal pressure coefficient this is case 3 and this the negative pressure coefficient will be representing case 4 now case 3 is showing table number 5 for roof and table number 6 for walls similarly in this one the seventh table will be showing uh, the pressures for roof and the eighth table will be showing pressures for walls so there will be total of eight tables four in this one and f uh, the re remaining four in this one so let us check our report if uh, this is the case now if you see uh, the case one this is the first table second wall then third then fourth fifth sixth and um, then seven and eight so these are actually representing all the cases which I have written down here. Now if we go step by step, the case one, the roof load. Now we are at this part of the table. Okay. Now if you see, uh, our roof is divided into three zones in this direction, A, B and C when wind is acting in this direction now e, uh, the table is showing different values for zone a it is showing minus 0 0.44 for zone b it is showing minus 0 0.42 and for zone c it is showing minus 0 0.28 this means all the values are in negative which means the pressure is acting away from the roof okay so uh, for very you know precise calculations you can always divide your sap model into or you can assign these shells in the sap model based on these uh, dimensions but for the purpose for this lecture we are just going to take the maximum in the roof load cases so the maximum value is minus 0 0.44 i will just write down here minus 0 0.44 and the units are kilonewton per meter square so this is the maximum pressure which is acting on the roof similarly if i go to the second table in the walls now i've already discussed the uh, leeward and the windward side so a is representing my windward side b is representing the leeward side and c and d are representing the side walls of the building so if I consider pressure on A, I already told you that pressure on A will be positive. So if I check my second table, this one, it has divided the windward face into two further zones, which is A1 and A2. Now that depends upon the height of the building. If I keep on increasing my height, it will further divide it into A1, A2 and A3. This will be clarified once you read the uh, code. So I will just take the maximum of these values. So zone A has a maximum value of 0 0.23. Similarly, zone B, which is the windward side, is having a value of minus 0 0.27. So I will just write down here minus 0 0.27. And C and D faces both will have same value uh, which is minus 0 0.35 now this negative signs are indicating that pressure is acting away from these walls now if i go to the third table which is the which is the case for negative internal pressure coefficient and the first one is representing the roof so now th these values are positive which means the pressure is acting onto the roof but all the zones are showing 0 0.01 value so i will write down here 0 0.01 so this is the pressure acting on the roof when we are using the negative pressure coefficient similarly if i go to the next table uh, which are having zones a1 a2 b c and d so a, a is representing the windward side which is having uh, the maximum pressure of 0 0.3 
थ्री नाइन एंड बी इज़ हैविंग मैक्सिमम नेगेटिव प्रेशर ऑफ माइनस ज़ीरो पॉइंट वन वन एंड सी एंड डी आर हैविंग माइनस ज़ीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन ना ऑल दिज यूनिट्स आर इन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेयर और के पी ए ओके नाउ इफ वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन वन विंड इज एक्टिंग एट नाइन्टी डिग्रीज टू द बिल्डिंग ऑन और वन विंड इज इन द एक्स डायरेक्शन नाउ दिस इज द केस थ्री हेयर इफ यू लुक एट द केस थ्री फर्स्ट टेबल इज ऑफ रूफ द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर थ्री सो आई विल राइट हेयर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर थ्री फॉर ऑल द जोन्स द नेक्स्ट टेबल शोज द वैल्यूज फॉर वॉल्स आई विल राइट डाउन द मैक्सिमम हेयर द ए जोन इज शोइंग माई सॉरी जीरो पॉइंट टू थ्री पॉजिटिव प्रेशर एंड बी इज शोइंग माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू एंड सी एंड डी आर हैविंग वैल्यूज ऑफ माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सिमिलरली इफ आई गो टू केस फोर नाउ द रूफ इज हैविंग द मैक्सिमम पॉजिटिव प्रेशर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एंड द वॉल्स आर हैविंग वैल्यूज ऑफ दिनवर्ड साइड हैज मैक्सीम प्रेशर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन एंड जोन बी इज हैविंग माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एंड द जोन सी एंड डी आर हैविंग प्रेशर ऑफ माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन नाउ आई होप दिस कम्प्लीट टेबल्स विच हैव एक्सप्लेन स्टेप बाई स्टेप इज क्लियर टू यू दीज आर द फाइनल प्रेशर वैल्यूज विच वी आर गोइंग टू apply in our sap model in the next lecture inshallah if you have any queries or questions or if anything is unclear you can always ask in the comments and inshallah see you all in the next lecture